Picos and Pico Ws make great battery power devices. I've used USB power banks to drive several of my projects. Using a LiPo battery though is more flexible as we can choose the form factor and capacity for a project. Let me show you how. Hi, I'm John, your concierge to the world of the Raspberry Pi Pico, Pro Robotics, IoT and other fun tech. Remember to subscribe and join the community. I briefly mentioned the LiPo shim for using a LiPo battery in a project in my video on the PCB design for this TFT badge here. In this video, I'm going to take a deeper look at the LiPo shim for the Pico, a product by Pi Moroni, and how I've used it in this project. If you like this video and it helps your learning or your projects, why not buy me a virtual cup of coffee or a lunch to say thank you? You can use the super thanks button below the video. And please hit the like button on the video and subscribe for more, I do appreciate it. The Pico W makes a great battery powered device for remote sensors, displays or user interfaces. I've built some of these using USB power supplies in the past, like this badge here, which just uses the USB power supply going into what was a Badger 2040, RP2040 board. Using LiPo batteries would be a lot more flexible. LiPos do need some care though, and I wouldn't want to build my own control circuit for charging them or indeed maintaining those batteries. It's too easy to cause a problem with a LiPo battery and I really don't want to burn down the hotel. Pi Moroni ship a LiPo shim, which is designed to fit right onto the Pico and manage power from a LiPo battery, including charging it. This makes using a LiPo powered Pico W device really easy. The 500 milliamp hour LiPo battery I used in this video was purchased from Cancun, who are also the sponsor for this video. Cancun are a friendly online retailer in the UK for modules, components and tools. Cancun have kindly offered a discount to my channel viewers on the first order. Just quote Dr. John EA20 at checkout to get a 20% discount. This excludes electronic test equipment and tools. Go check out Cancun today. The LiPo shim is compatible with the Pico or Pico W and probably any other board that shares the same pinout. It provides charging to the battery of 215 milliamps. It's got battery protection circuits to make sure the battery isn't over discharged or short circuited. Um, and a power button for turning on and off the Pico. Uh, uses a JSTPH connector, which is pretty standard for LiPo batteries. And it's got power and charging LEDs to indicate what's going on. I'm going to use the LiPo shim with a 500 milliamp hours, 3.7 volt LiPo cell. The shim will fit underneath the Pico and the those two uh, little fixing holes there, either side of the um, USB connection is where we're actually going to have the indicator LEDs shining through so we'll be able to see when it's on charge or when it's actually turned on. So all we need to do is actually solder the header pins to go through the shim and through the, um, the Pico and just be a little bit careful that the solder is actually catching both and flowing through. Um, you could um, just put a bit of solder down the edges too, just to make sure that they're connected. So here it's connected up and you can see that it looks quite neat. It fits under that, the uh, header pins quite nicely, uh, giving you a nice uh, shim on there and all of the functions of that LiPo power. And there's the power switch there to turn on and off the unit. So when we've got the unit actually on charge, we'll get a little red light appear there, that red LED on the right hand side to show that we're actually charging the battery. And of course, we've also got the switch underneath the unit so we can turn the unit on and we'll get a, a little yellow or, or green LED illuminating on the other side there. 
You can also use this switch to turn the unit on and off while it's actually on USB power as well. I'm not entirely sure I know how they do that. Um, that's a, a slightly clever trick and I will have to look into that, how that works. But yeah, we're just going to turn it off here. I don't knock it all out of shot. So Pi Moroni's LiPo Shim is great for my projects. It gives me an easy way to power my Pico W from a range of LiPo batteries. So I have a choice on the form factor and capacity to fit the needs of my project. I gain all the flexibility without having to worry about the design of battery charging and management. This is a great accelerator for my projects. So I'm sure we'll see the LiPo Shim in some of my future projects too. If this video or any of my videos helped you out, why not buy me a virtual cup of coffee or lunch to say thank you? There's now the super thanks feature live on my channel. Just click the button. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please do hit that like button and please subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Goodbye for now.